I'm not doing well. And, uh... Hooray! So this course really filled my knowledge gaps and I became more confident. 38 easy to understand precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Hey guys, so with me today I've got Ken who I've just picked up from the train station and he's here for me to assess his driving um, because he wants to find out whether he's ready for a driving test or not. If you guys want to take part in one of these uh, mock tests and feature on the YouTube channel all you need to do is uh, drop me a message on Instagram at DJN Driving and obviously these uh, mock tests are absolutely free. Right then Ken, so uh, tell me a bit about your driving. Well, I, I feel like I've I've put in a little bit of uh, an effort and uh, I want to see how it goes, how what? far am I doing? Because uh, I've been with one instructor this why, so, and then I said, when I saw your video, I'm like, let me try with another person and see. Okay, uh, d do you feel ready for a test? Uh, yeah, I feel. Okay, is I feel it? Like I can give it a try. Good, yeah. is there anything that you haven't covered? Have you covered all the maneuvers? Um, I've covered all the maneuvers and um, the roundabouts. I think I've covered everything, but there, there are still that doesn't mean like uh, I feel so perfect in all the areas. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, yeah, so you know how the videos work. Yeah, I won't yeah. say anything when you do make a mistake. We'll talk about it at the end of the test. And for those of you who are watching, the faults will be talked about just before they happen. Yeah, that's right. Right, are we ready? Yeah. Any questions? No questions. Okay. Um, we'll leave the show me tell me questions out today, but remember the examiner will ask you that at the start of the test, yeah? Okay, okay. Yep. can we go for when you're ready please? Okay. Okay, yeah. This wasn't the best start. Ken has issues selecting first gear. He selects third instead, so stalls a couple of times. After stalling, he turns the car on but doesn't realise it's on, so spends quite a bit of time turning the key when the engine is already on. Eventually, when he does realise, he selects third gear again. I had to tell him as I couldn't risk him stalling on the dual carriageway that we were about to enter. Check again.
Pięknieczy. I się wie. At the end, uh, we're going to be turning left. Turning left, okay. Okay, Ken, you're in uh, third gear, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm struggling with you. Yeah, so what you need to do is, you know, okay, put into neutral. Instead of going straight to the um, corner, yeah. push it to the left first. And all. That's it. Okay? Yeah. You're pulling into third. Okay, so. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Okay. When parking up, you must stop at a safe and convenient place. Ken stops at a bus stop. Thank you, and move off when you're ready, please. Okay. Before moving off, Ken does check both blind spots, but then does take a few seconds to move off. The blind spot should be checked just before you move as the situation can change in that time. Ken shows good control at this steep uphill junction. He selects first gear in good time and uses the clutch well. And at this roundabout, if you could turn right, right at the third exit. Ken approaches and enters this roundabout well. When he gets to the second exit, Ken should check the centre and left mirrors and signal left to exit the roundabout. He doesn't do this and if this was a bigger roundabout with two lanes then this would have been marked as a serious fault. Straight ahead, please. Straight ahead. At this roundabout, he doesn't check the mirrors before signalling to exit the roundabout. There are traffic lights at this turning and after the lights there are giveaway markings. Ken should look to the right and stop for any approaching vehicles. He doesn't look and I have to intervene as there are vehicles approaching. Can you stop? Okay, so yours again. Ken tries to move off but hasn't selected first gear. He works it out.
right, please, just after this bit. I know that I normally say I'm not too fussed about learners scraping my alloy, as it's all part of the job, but this one hurt. Ken clips the curb. This was a serious fault because of the speed we were at. Ouch. This road that we are turning into is a one way, as you can see from the signs. After entering this road, I asked Ken to turn right. On a one way street, you should position on the right hand side of the road when turning right. Ken positions to the left. I'd say this is a difficult one, as the road markings could be clearer. At the end of the road, turn right. When turning left, Ken carries out good observations. He notices a van to our left which has that back part for unloading sticking out. Not too sure what it's called, if you know let me know in the comments. He did well to notice it. Again, Ken doesn't notice the giveaway sign or markings. He should stop for any traffic approaching from the right. I had to intervene. Okay, I've just got to stop the car there. Yeah. Okay. So if you could take over now, put the put it into neutral, please. Okay. And it's all yours again. So carry on. Okay. Let's see, and go to the right, please. To the right, yeah. Getting to the right hand lane when it's safe. Okay. Hit signal. Now there's a lorry blocking our lane, which Ken obviously notices. He should have signaled right sooner and changed lanes. The vehicle behind does slow down, but Ken seems to be in two minds about what to do and is getting close to the lorry. I had to help him out. Carry on, carry on. At the traffic lights, turn left please. Ken moves from the right to the left lane without any mirror checks. Always check your mirrors before changing direction. Anything you're doing so far? <laughs> I'm not doing well. I know. Ken selects first gear instead of third, which causes engine braking. Something you don't want to do in this situation with vehicles behind. Right third exit, this one, and yeah. straight ahead, second exit, please. Okay. This first roundabout, Ken does well, but I wasn't ready for what happened at the second roundabout. Kind of caught me off guard.
I've asked him to go straight ahead at this roundabout and Kenny's positioned in the correct lane. Then all of a sudden he decides to move into the left lane and there were no observations before doing so. My reaction was late and I should have been ready. Luckily there was no car next to us. Here Ken doesn't signal to change lanes and then starts slowing down. I asked him to continue driving as I couldn't risk him stopping on a clear dual carriageway. If you can't change lanes it's fine to do what's safe and go the wrong way. But the thing with Ken is that he starts the process of changing lanes too late. Definitely something he needs to work on. It's okay, carry on, just keep going. Roundabout, turn right, turn right, second exit. Again, Ken struggles with the gear and ends up stalling on the roundabout. I had to help him out. Clutch down, turn the key. That's it. Select face gear and carry on. Okay, Ken, if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Ken parks up at a bus stop, just like he did near the start. Also, there are double yellow lines. Definitely shouldn't have stopped here. Slick face gear and a slick face gear and let's go. Move up for me please. That's the end of the test and I think Ken knew what the result was. He took the feedback well. And uh, if you could switch off the engine for me. Thank you. And you spot the key there. Right then, Ken, that's the end of the test. And you oh. think you did? <laughs> Is that the end? Well, no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I missed the roundabout. You asked me to the second one. There yeah. were supposed to be two roundabouts. Yeah. I, I understand what you wanted was the other one to. Uh, you suppose I followed the other one to take the other round, but well, yeah. I missed it. Yeah, it's not about missing it. It's like, to be honest, I wasn't even ready for that. Yeah, because I thought you're in the correct lane now. You're gonna go straight. But then last minute, you started yeah. coming to the left. Yeah. Yeah. No mirror signal maneuver. Okay. And then obviously I held the steering because yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't ready. I should have been more ready there. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, overall, yeah. Because it seemed like the wrong lane, so I don't, I don't know. So. The, uh, this is where you need to, like, you know, you, in, on on these normal roads, small yeah. roads with parked cars, uh, normal junctions, um, turning left, right, your control, even uphill, excellent. Yeah, all that part is good. Yeah, you need to get out on busier roads now, like these big deal carriageways, yeah. Yeah. because your main areas of weakness, yeah, is one changing lanes. Yeah. Okay, the way you're doing that is um, you start slowing down. Yeah. When I want to change the lane. Yeah, you, the first thing you should do is what? It is to observe and then signal. That's it. Mirror, signal, yeah. and then yeah. if it's safe, get over. Okay. No need yeah, to. Even, even that last time when I said turn right at the when we took the wrong turn at the round, but I said turn right at the lights. Yeah. You start slowing down, it's a dual carriageway. Yeah. And it's too late to change lanes now. Obviously, I don't know what you were about to. I couldn't risk you stopping on the dual carriageway to change your lane. So I said, just carry on. Yeah. Yeah. But if you miss a turn, just just keep going. Yeah. But uh, again, what, the the other area for improvement, which fits in this, fits in with this, is looking out for signs and mm. planning. 
That's a massive part of driving now. Yeah. Yeah. Before time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know that road? Yeah. That was a one-way street. Do you know that? Yeah, as you just said it now, I remember. But I, I don't really actually see the exactly. sign. Yeah. Signs, yeah. markings. Yeah. You gotta look out for that more. Yeah. Even when that one time, remember when we were. But all I know is when we got to the end, I saw the giveaway sign. It was on the Yeah, that was so fine. Yeah. But, uh, but on a um, one way street, if you're turning right, which side of the road should you be on? On the one way street? Yeah. It's gonna be on the right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you didn't really notice yeah. that. You noticed yeah, the giveaway, so that, that was, was fine, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then remember that one time when I pressed the brake, mm. there was cars coming from the right. There was a giveaway marking and a giveaway sign there. You didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. I pressed the brake for you. And yeah, there were, car there were cars. Is coming. it? Um, yeah, it was because I. Was, I think I stalled because. No, you didn't stall. Okay. You, I had to stop the car for okay. you there. Yeah. So I see a lot of these because there yeah. was a lot going on. When you watch the video back, it'll make more sense to you. Yeah. yeah. So rather than going through each fault individually, I'm just going to tell you your your main areas for improvement. Yeah. Uh, uh, which were what I've just just said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lane changing yeah. and looking out for signs and markings. You basically now need to get out of these quiet practice on these quiet roads yeah get out onto big busy roundabouts big, busy roundabout, yeah. yeah okay and um yeah, dual carriageways that. change lanes yeah that's all you need to tell your instructor now. yeah I knew that okay that. because i i feel if you have about another three or four lessons on that your driving is going to be fine okay yeah that's all you're at that stage where you need you need to be challenged more now yeah okay yeah happy with that yeah 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 obviously at the start <laughs> um you were getting mixed up with the gear <laughs> the, 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 the one i used to use you know your yours is a bit no different. no the gear is always base gear is always the same in every car <laughs> okay i don't have to go to, the, yeah I the reverse know. gear might be different you know when people say that that oh face gear is different in my other instructors can't uh, know it's yeah not <laughs> reverse gear can be different yeah face gear is not going to be different <laughs> It was always to the end. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I wasn't pushing to the end. Exactly. Uh, and at the start, you were yeah. the car was on, and you were trying to start it. Yeah, you were there the for a while. Red. Obviously, it wasn't helping helping you. Yeah. So you, you know what the title of the video is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's going to be crazy, okay. man. Thank you very All much. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for I coming down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget yeah. to like and subscribe, and yeah. I'll see you in the next video.